Sometimes those limits, they have to be real hard limits for you. The minute you start letting other people lean into your limits, you'll find that your objectives are not being completed and your mm -hmm. goals are slowly getting washed away and it just becomes this murky, I'm waking up and just going with the flow and doing whatever. Have an objective out there so that you can truly be self-reliant and see your visions manifesting. Hello, growers. Welcome back to another episode of Growing Up. I'm Devin Werkheiser. I'm Daniel Curtis Lee. And today, my man Daniel is going to be teaching me the top five ways to be self-reliant. Oh, yeah. Self-reliant, man. Yeah, man. So, hey. Hey, hey. Hey, thanks for coming on season two. No problem. I, I like the set, man. This is, this is fire. You guys have upgraded. We have upgraded. Yeah, you were our first episode, right? You were our first. The first. You were the first Growing Up episode. Uh over a year ago now at a different studio we've we've upgraded we're leveling up and we, we've grown up since then too you know I, honestly it feels like we have it really dude does. in the last year I feel yeah I feel like I'm I'm leveling up our pods doing its own little thing pods too. doing a thing yeah. we got some things in the works things in the works so the friendship's growing, the work relationship's growing. Yeah, I feel like the bank account's growing. You know, I feel like we're doing okay. It's been a good year, man. Yeah, really fucking cool. Yeah, so on this season of growing up, you know, I, I told you about it. It's like I want each guest to kind of bring some top five tips and, and teach me something on a topic that like pertains to you. And I was yeah. really like, I was really thinking about you, like, because you do a lot of things. So I was like, oh, what do I want? Daniel to like bring some some heat on. What do I want Daniel to bring some wisdom on? And self-reliance is what self what, what came up because I, I find you to be a very independent and self-reliant human. Yes, I try to upkeep my uh, my independence. Mm -hmm. Independence is is great, and I feel like you can just get so far. Community matters. Yes, but you got to be self-sufficient. You got to be self-sufficient within yourself so that you can contribute to that community and not let yourself down. Um, because you might find your your community making these big, you know, enhancements and growing, but you have nothing to show for it at the end. So you got to make sure that you are doing your own thing. Mm -hmm. All right, let's let's count down some of your tips and then we can kind of talk around them. So give okay. me your top five uh, tip for being self-reliant. Okay, nice. And is, is, the, is the tip just going to pop up here? No, no, no. They're, they're I thought you were running a real podcast here, Devin. <laughs> we oh. have analog whiteboards. You mean I have to pick this up myself? Yes, for those of you just listening to the pod, we do have a visual element to these tips. There's a whiteboard you can oh. look at on YouTube. Jeez. Yeah. Devin. Yeah, we wrote those. If you could read with, it with and like then show the camera. Gen Z is like, what, what is a marker? What's a pencil? What's right. a whiteboard? <laughs> all right, guys. Hello. So my first tip is jack of all trades is a master of none, but oftentimes better than a master of one. Okay. Tell me about that. Okay. So for me in this life, I have found, and, and a lot of people will combat me on this. Some people are like, you know, you just stop here at that first uh, comma and it's just jack of all trades is a master of none. Ha <laughs> ha, you never mastered anything, so you suck because you're a jack of all trades. Right, you've dabbled in a lot of things and that's, you're a master of none, so you're, that's bad. And a lot of people, you know, will just stop there, but, you know, the rest of this phrase includes that um, it's oftentimes better than a master of one. And uh, for me, in, in terms of self-reliance, when you feel like you have a great idea and you just want to be that center of it, especially as actors, where I just want to stand in front of a camera and yada, yada, yada. Yeah. Okay, now you need someone to hold that camera, right? So that's yeah. an added person that you need on your yeah. team, okay? So you're going to call someone, ask them to do it. Yeah. They have a schedule of their own. Sometimes they're not going to be able to do it, all right? Um, then you need someone to edit it. That's another person you're adding to your team. Now yeah. that's two extra people. Um, then you maybe need someone to, like, upload it and manage, maybe a producer, whatever. Yeah. And then not to mention, like, management. But there are these moving parts uh, yeah. oftentimes, and you better go out there and learn how to execute that stuff yourself, all right? Yeah. So don't just be, don't pick some occupation where you're going to have the opportunity to say, oh, I didn't get it done because Devin didn't answer the phone. Right. Or Lindsay wasn't there to edit it, and so we're just sitting on the footage. Right. And, oh, we're almost there, but it's the, the, the whole we thing, you know? Right. Um, you will benefit greatly uh, because you're going to accomplish more when you say, I don't have anyone else to do this for me. Right. It, if they do arrive, great. That's great. icing on the cake. Yeah, but yeah. I'm going to do this myself because I set up in my mind that I care about this. It's going to be fulfilling for me. And I, I need to do it. So yeah. Accomplish those tasks 
with the uh, idea that you might be alone in that uh, in that journey. So that that's one aspect of it. I, I love it. So you're saying like round yourself out, like spread your skills out so that you don't have to depend on everybody else's skills. And yeah, part of that quote is like, jack of all trades is a master of none. That part of the quote is kind of saying like, if you commit your time to getting good at all these different things, you can only get so, so far into your skills in that. Mm -hmm. But but that's all right. Like in a lot of if, in a lot of yeah. Situations. Yeah, if you can if you can edit pretty fucking good yeah. and you can light pretty fucking good and you can shoot it pretty fucking good yeah. and you can act it like then you can get a lot done. Yeah, I like that. I like it's that. A, it's uh, similar to who, who was was it Chicken Little that um, that needed all the ingredients to make her freaking thing, and she asked all these people to participate. Do you not I remember? Forget, the I forget. I forget it. I forget <laughs> the Chicken, chicken Little. little. <laughs> uh, it's one of them. Um, <laughs> it was it was either the Little Hen or Chicken Little. <laughs> <laughs> This is for American audi audiences only, probably. <laughs> um, but anyway, there's a story about a little chicken, okay? <laughs> and the little chicken's trying to make a cake, all right? And um, she she tells all her friends, hey, in the community, yo, you bring some sugar, okay, um, donkey? And you, uh, uh, let's say lion, you can bring some flour. And you bring the eggs, cow, and we're going to make a cake, and it's going to be delicious. And all these people are like, yeah, that sounds great. We love cake. And then they don't end up showing up with the uh, with the ingredients, so she has to make the cake her own. Uh -huh. And then once the cake's there, everybody's like, oh, "Everybody wants oh in." My God, <laughs> yeah, what? This is the cake we said we were gonna make, and she's like, "All right, hold up now. <laughs> <laughs> if you weren't with me shooting in the gym, you can't have none of this cake." <laughs> um, and you know, I've uh, extrapolated a little bit, but yeah, yeah, um, yeah. but yeah, no, it's beneficial, guys, to yeah. not feel like you have to just master something. Uh, all the time. Uh, be okay with doing a little bit yourself and just get the job done because people will come out of the woodworks once you show, hey, I have at least somewhat of an operation that I can run myself. Yeah. Can you now come and assist me? Yeah. Versus can you be a puzzle piece that I need yeah, in yeah. order for me to, to get this thing yeah, off the ground? Yeah, I also feel like this can apply like beyond like skills for work. I, I feel like this can apply to like, I don't know, kind of more like broad life things too. Like, I don't know, maybe you're really good at being funny. Here's a bad example, but like you're really good at, you got a really great sense of humor, but you haven't developed your ability to like sit and fucking listen to someone. Like basically like develop all parts of yourself and this life yeah. just because you're really good or one part of you comes naturally doesn't mean you should just like stay on that rest on your laurels is that the fucking quote like don't yeah like don't like sit just because something comes natural like yeah develop a lot of different aspects of your life be good in social situations be good on your own uh be good with friends be good with uncomfortable conversations like develop different parts of your being listeners our lives are intricately connected to technology these days we are all online and if you are not using a vpn you're behind a vpn stands for virtual private network and this episode is sponsored by NordVPN. It's incredibly easy to use, incredibly easy to sign up, and it is going to expand your options and protect your online life. It encrypts your data, so when you're joining a public Wi-Fi, which we all are all the time, it makes your data protected, right? Because people can swoop that stuff and uh, use and abuse your data, not with NordVPN. Also, you're allowed to change your server location. This is so useful. The other day, I wanted to watch a football game that was only being shown on the East Coast, and I was able to change my server location and watch it how I wanted. I travel a lot throughout the year, and it, it, Nord, with NordVPN, I'm able to not miss any of the games I want to see or any of the streaming services that I want to use because every country has a different streaming library, and I never have to miss what I want to see. So use a VPN if you're not already. It's time. Go to nordvpn.com slash growing up. It's totally risk-free and you have a 30-day money back guarantee. And that that um now I'm th I'm remembering when I when I wrote this tip down, it, it also goes to like say say someone had their whole life been told that they were great at mathematics, right? And they just mm -hmm. wanted to go into that hard math specifically. Maybe yeah. it was just like calculus or something like that and they've been grinding it out and they're like okay i'm gonna be a you know a big mathematical guy yeah but they never looked at you know writing poetry or they right. never looked at let's just say chemistry like right and they're like i'm locked into this because it's what i've been raised in or right. 
a football player who right. didn't know that they're an amazing ballerina or right. you know uh, an amazing track star. Like if you don't spread yourself out and give yourself the ability to find these different uh, occupations, you might think that you're the best at your current field and really you're just you're just you're just mediocre at that when you would have been the greatest in another field, but you never even gave yourself a chance to try it out. So that's why I don't uh, believe in being a master of of one and dedicating all your time to this thing because it might not be uh, where you will shine the most. Yeah. But you have to, you know, try try other things on your palate uh, in order for you to know. Yeah, I, I love it, dude. It makes sense. And it's kind of how my life has gone. And I feel like yours, like I can... I'm pretty good at a lot of things. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And I can engage with people on like a pretty good level on a lot of things. Like I have a little bit of knowledge about a lot, a lot of things. Of things yeah. I can be in most situations and kind of hold my own. And that does feel, that does make me feel self-reliant and self-confident. It's just like, I know I can show up to a situation and like, I trust like what I got is going to get me pretty far. Yeah, yeah. And and when when you, especially in this entrepreneur-like yes. arena, yeah. it's harder for people to bullshit you. When you bring people on to be staff for mm -hmm. something that you're doing, and they're saying, oh, it's going to take this many hours to execute. Yeah. It's like, no, dude, I'm an editor too. Do you want me to just do it? And right. Say, I'll just keep the check. Oh, but, that's true. And then they're like, oh, okay, no, 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 okay, oh, yeah, I'll keep it. I can do get it done in two hours. Or, yeah, oh, yeah, yeah. They, they give you this long timeline, and you're like, hey, check out this documentation. Check out this resource. Yeah. And this will speed up your workflow yeah. because you're, you're taking way too long yeah. with this. Or, you know, oh, we that can't be done. You know, I don't I don't know how to pull this person out of the background because they're not good with color keying and, right. and editing programs. Like, you know, I can do it for you. Right. Yeah. No, uh, that's cool. Yeah. Um, I want to find, before we go to the next tip, I love that your jack of all trades quote, like most people stop at the beginning of it. Like I've heard that jack of all trades is a master of none. Mm -hmm. Not the end of it, but oftentimes better than a master of one. I saw another quote today or recently where we've all heard this quote and I actually hadn't heard the end of this quote and it changes the entire meaning of this quote. Hmm. Most of us have heard the, the phrase, imitation is the sincerest form of flattery or imitation is the highest form of flattery, right? It's an Oscar Wilde quote. Mm -hmm. It, right? Like that's what I've know that quote as. Mm -hmm. Imitation is the highest form of flattery. It's saying, oh, Aww. people imitate you. That's so, you know, it's flattery. Okay it's, it. it's them, but the full quote and it literally flips it on its head is imitation is the highest form of flattery that mediocrity can pay to greatness. Ooh. Oh my God. Ooh, that's a bar. Yeah. It also changes the entire fucking meeting, man. Wow. Yeah. yeah. It's funny what a little comma can do. Or Dude. Or a semicolon. <laughs> Dude, everyone's, everyone's just stopping there, but that's not what that quote means then. Like what? <laughs> that's not yeah, what he's no. saying. That's a that's a nice little witty insult to, to people copying. Up exactly. Here. And it makes sense coming from Oscar Wilde. He was a cheeky fellow, but imitation is the highest form of flattery that mediocrity can pay to greatness. Damn. Jeez. Yeah. Um, all right. Anyways, that was fun. Yeah. All right, let's hear your number four. Oh, number four. Let's see my next tip, guys. Yes, sir. For being self-reliant. For being self-reliant. Oh, yes. This one. Set limits and boundaries. Oh, I struggled with this one for a good little while, and I still do it. And, yeah. you know, people, humans, we're, we're constantly setting new uh, limits and boundaries. Okay, and we're not only talking about in a physical sense, like, oh, a boundary, you cannot cross this line, or da-da-da-da-da-da. But for me, knowing what your objectives are in every situation that you find yourself in matters, all right? You know, clearly lay out what your objectives are and do not get pulled into someone else's objective. Mm. If you find mutual benefit in going on someone else's on someone else's objective, do it. But if it's someone else's rat race, do not join on that, okay? Mm. So uh, let's say a limit. If if my limit is staying up until 10 p.m. and then I'm going because I need my sleep and I know I want to wake up early in the morning, that's my limit. I don't care if you're a family member, a best friend, girlfriend, uh, you know, boyfriend, whatever, you know, you guys have out there, your partner. Sometimes those limits, mm. they have to be real hard limits for you. The minute you start letting other people lean into your limits, you'll find that your objectives are not being completed 
and your mm. goals are slowly getting washed away and it just becomes this murky, I'm waking up and just going with the floor and doing whatever. Flexibility is okay. Be yeah. flexible, but have an objective out there so that you can truly be self-reliant and see your visions manifested. We're all collectively dreaming here, mm -hmm. but make sure that your dream doesn't get drowned out in someone else's, especially when you have healthy objectives that are going to make you a better person. Mm. That, that's, that's my perspective as far as limits. Um, you don't want to drink. Don't drink. There's mm. no, oh, well, but I went out with the guys and da 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 No, you, you drank because you did not, uh, you did not have a still, uh, you know, uh, locked in uh, commitment to what you planned for yourself. Yeah. And so you're, you're, on, you're in someone else's plan. You're in someone else's dream yep. at that point. Uh, boundaries. If, if you don't want negativity in your life or you feel like even words, it could be as simple as words. Some people are like, oh, you know, sticky stone, baby, break my bones. Uh, words will never hurt me. And so when someone feels, or someone may feel like it's okay to speak negativity around you, uh, even into you, uh, set that boundary. I cannot interact with you if you are bringing that, uh, yeah. that energy into my sphere. Have you, have you always had good, like a good sense of boundaries? Because you strike me as someone who has. Hmm. Mm. Like, do you feel like you've always, I don't know, had a good sense of where you end and the world begins? Like, like yeah, you strike I, me as a boundaried since, person. Since a kid, yeah. I mean, I, I had, I've had moments where I've had to, to learn because. With my independence and uh, with my free spiritedness, yeah, I can be very patient sometimes. And, uh, not the independence part, but the free spiritedness. Yeah. I can be very patient with people, yeah, and I can be very understanding. And that has at times been negative for me because mm. I'll find myself in situations where I'm like, "Oh, I can cope with this. It's okay. They're not that bad," <laughs> you know, that type of thing. And yeah, um, and it just it just leads to negative outcomes. Yeah, uh, if something doesn't resonate with you, you got to get up and out of there, <laughs> or you know, send send you know those people packing or that situation uh, packing. It just is yeah. Crazy. You have a huge family, which I can't believe I didn't know this. Like, okay. I learned this on Ned's pod that you have, like, 40 fucking first cousins. Yeah, we got a lot of them. Um, I, I <laughs> like, do, do you feel like in that environment when you're with, like, the whole fam on the compound in Mississippi, yeah. you feel like you have to be self-reliant or, or, or know these boundaries because otherwise you'll just get fucking swept yeah. up. Get in lost in it. Yeah, yeah. Like, What's happening? It's just the, the leads are just doing their thing. <laughs> exactly. Like, I have a name. I'm, I'm dead. <laughs> I'm Daniel. Um, well, no, you know, I mean, we're, we're, we're communal. Like, you know, we, we, we have an, an awesome community there. Uh, just so loving. And it's, mm. it's great when there, there is a lot of love around you. Huge. You accomplish great things and it feels good to be a part of a team like yeah. that. So I, I love the team that is my family yeah but yeah you do have to carve out your own kind of personality <laughs> yeah within that and your own like character yeah and even like your even own with, space yeah your own space just yeah. just to exist <laughs> and be like okay it's it's me i'm in this thing but that's like like my dad was a trailblazer in that he like moved you know all the way out to california for us to pursue these dreams when most of my family uh or at least on my dad's side did remain Right, you know, in, sure. in that area. And they, they're doing amazing things like doctors and, you know, yeah, yeah. All, the, all this amazing stuff. Um, but uh, he wanted to kind of carve out his own thing. So that mm. was that really big show of, of independence, you know, which, which is to lead the community into some other opportunities as well. Yeah. Um, but seeing my dad's ability to make such a giant leap yeah. inspired me to also uh, express that within my own, you know, direct family unit. Yeah, yeah. There are only like three. is my sister and my brother and myself. Right. But I always liked that characteristic in my father. And I was like, okay, I want to uh, exude that in my own walk. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So. Listeners, I'll say it before. I'll say it again. We got to get better at our finances. You've heard my story. I went broke, right? And that's because I was not using all the tools at my disposal to manage my money. I was being foolish that I could manage it all in my head and on little scraps of paper around my room. 
Not with Rocket Money. Rocket Money is an all-in-one place to manage your finances. It helps you find and cancel subscriptions easily, which, by the way, I guarantee you have a subscription you forgot about because I've had many that Rocket Money has found for me. And ultimately, the money it helped me save by finding those subscriptions paid for the service itself. On top of the subscriptions, it helps you track your income, see what's coming in, see what's going out, help build a budget, and help lower your your bills. Rocket Money is an incredible service. It's so easy to sign up and it's so easy to use and it has changed my organization with my finances, which means I can get better at them and maybe even start to save. Wouldn't that be wonderful? Head over to rocketmoney.com slash growing up to support the pod and support yourself. Yeah, you have to have a sense of self. You have to have a sense of your own self and self-worth. And like, unfortunately, we don't choose our our parents and we don't choose our childhood. So like some people I think do grow up like without a good sense of self, right? Like oh, yeah. they don't know who they are. They They can't sense it. They can't feel it. Their identity is always external in. Like their identity is like, oh, I'm in this space now. So this must be who I am. Mm. And it if that's how you grow up grow up without a sense of self like man your your work into your adulthood is realizing what you're not and like realizing the external things you're identifying with you have to find some sense of yourself your own your individual yeah. self-worth your identity Ooh. Yeah, you're you're so right because that that does bring up uh, when I was younger. Like me and my brother, we were born. What are they? Not Irish babies. I forget what they call it, but we were born like back to back. Um, oh, just like one year, one year. Irish twins. Is I that what they Irish call babies. it? It's like nine months, nine months. <laughs> like nine months apart. Thank you, Ramy, for that. Um, <laughs> so so we're kind of like like Irish twins. Um, he's just like slightly older. I think he's like a year and actually year and eight months. So yeah. maybe we're not exactly Irish twins, but but you're close, really close, close, yeah. close enough for me to just want to do everything that he did. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And you know, I, I have a little soft spirit at least deep down in there. I've, I built up an exterior, <laughs> a tough exterior to close that on off. Got to snuff it out. But um, <laughs> you know, I used to want to do everything that my brother did. I to be included in everything they yeah. did and um i remember my mom always like her wisdom was you're not attached at the hip you're not attached at the hip yeah you don't need to be following behind to try and do everything that he's doing my father would often have to uh check me when i was younger like i, I would have some like goal to do and you know i love my brother nate i gotta throw that out there love him to death but uh, nate's the man he's m more of an individual than than i am you he's know? quite the he's individual. hard individual yes <laughs> Um, yeah, he, he, but he's handsome and he's cool. I get why you always wanted to, yeah. I want to be like you. Yeah. <laughs> but, um, there would be like simple things like, oh, hey, Nate, hold this so I can do did it did it did And, uh, and he might pick the cup up for a little bit and then just drop it. <laughs> and then walk away. Oh, and I'm all teary eyed. Oh, what happened, Dan? What happened, Dan? Well, I asked him to hold this so I could do this. And then we were going to work together and blah, 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 blah. And then my, my dad would just be like, yeah. And what did you learn? And I'll be like, oh, did I should maybe ask nicer? No, no, no. Nope. What did you learn? <laughs> I should ask somebody else. And then that's like, a, maybe, sure. but no. Do it yourself. Yeah. You know, find, yeah. find a way to do it yourself. You can't yeah. always ask someone to be there to take take on a burden, especially if it's not mutually beneficial to them. Exactly. Yeah, he, my if brother he doesn't had other get tools. why he wants to do that, yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Now, if you have a great idea and you can plainly spell it out to how you're going to benefit this person, yeah. they have no obligation to help you. To do it. You, know? you would love that. Yeah, yeah, You know, but sometimes it's just, it's just not the way the world works. Um, That's great. But yeah, individuality, limits, and boundaries, boundaries. matter. Yeah. Also in the workplace. Some yes. people do feel like they get in this work community and it's easy to get lost in the shuffle of that. You're expecting that raise and stuff and you think it's going to come. They're saying now if you're at a job for like more than two years and you don't get that raise, you need to be shuffling out or you're Absolutely. already making like 50% less than the yeah. people who came in. Um, yeah, it's true. Getting into that communal mindset rather than like your own limits, boundaries, needs, wants, like your own self-worth. You're just like, no, if I just go with the crowd, everything will work out. And it's like, not often. Yeah, yeah you got to work with the crowd, but just going with it at the expense of your own limits, probably not. Yeah. 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 Yeah, and then and then uh, I feel like you don't have this problem, but uh, I did for a lot of my life was was in love when it came to boundaries, like oh, okay. like losing my. I mean, I still have to work against it, like losing myself in 
in love because for some reason I had a good sense of self like in most other areas of my life but love is that soft nougaty center that just I'm like oh I'm I'm nothing and everything I'm yours mm. and and just losing my sense of self in love uh plagued me for a lot of my life <laughs> man man and you know it's not greener on the other side. I, I've had those experiences yeah. as well. It's hard. Love is just a hard thing. Yeah. And it is all about these compromises. But you got to know when this compromise is not mutually mm -hmm. uh, beneficial. Mm -hmm. It's very easy to subtract from yourself yeah. and, and your goals when you're with someone else. That's why I say set those boundaries. Know your own limits. Yeah. Because sometimes you and your partner are in different places in their life. They might want to be a party animal at this time and you've already done it all and seen it all and know that you're just blowing money by participating right. in those things. Right. You might not want to do the lavish dates and stuff like that because you don't see the value in it, but this person just wants to experience it because all my friends on Instagram are nimi nimi nimi. Right, 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 right. Sorry, dog. Like <laughs> you're gonna you're gonna be in debt. You're gonna be in love and in debt, you know. I love it. Um, all right, hit me with another tip. All right, another tip. Number three. Uh, okay, this one, number three, mind over matter. Okay. Okay, mind over matter. You know, it was cliche, uh, but it it matters to me. Um, mind, <laughs> your, your mind is powerful. I mean, humans have been gifted with this amazing ability to innovate and move around over under obstacles to uh, you know arrive at their goal people for years and years and years before you have looked at as like an immovable object you can use that mind to find a way to move that thing or you know see seemingly move it by getting over it don't back down from challenges that uh, arise in your world. I mean, and let me not say challenges. Don't don't back down from the obstacles. See them as yep. challenges that will make you grow. Yeah. You know, done kill you to make you stronger. But just just give yourself that time to be patient and focus on what you want and think of all of the different paths that you can take to reach it. All right. Sometimes you're just looking at one path that is closed. If you only focus on that path, then yeah, that material obstacle is going to prevent you from reaching your uh, objective. But if you just use your mind and think about it, the, you can you can al almost always arrive at the destination you want. You know? Yeah, man. It's so important, I think, to have uh, an aim, like, like you said, objective, know what you want. And that's changing constantly. We are never static. We're never fucking static. You have to check in with yourself all the fucking time. Life is dynamic. It's dynamic. We speak about it in terms that are static, but it's constantly moving. But I have found getting clear on what I want consistently, like what that aim is, what that direction is, allows me to mind over matter shit. Because sometimes, like you said, sometimes you're just trying to force a situation, you're trying to mind over matter something mm -hmm. and it's just not happening and it's kind of not fucking meant to be. Like you're hitting a wall and you're only hitting that wall because you're forcing, you've, you've collapsed options, you've closed yourself off. But when I know what I want, when I continue to check in with what I want and kind of like zoom out in that way, I can go, oh, maybe I go this direction and not give in to the part of me that's like, you can't do it. Like, yeah. Like, that's the mind over matter shit is like, no, I can fucking, I can do this shit. I've, I've talked about it on this pod, like the little bitch that comes up in you, like, yeah. like, like you need, you need the little bitch in you to come up some of the time and yeah. feel like, I can't do it. Yeah. And then you learn self-reliance and self-confidence by going, what I want is bigger than the little part of me that doesn't want to do this right mm. now. Like, like what I want is bigger. So yes, I fucking can. Like, yes, I can do this. And when you push through those moments, man, I have gained so much self-confidence in myself when I push yeah. through those, those, yeah. those weak moments, right? Like it's, it's my own inner weakness. It's my inner child is like, no, I, I can't. I don't yeah. wanna. Yeah. And, and that, that problem is standing in front of your, you know, immediate objective. Like you say, it's dynamic, but that problem standing in front of your immediate yeah. objective is a big monster to your inner child for that moment. It's that big Goliath. Yeah. yeah. You have to stand up to it and say, you know, I trust my mind enough and my abilities to, you know, surmount this to rise above it. Yeah. Um, so, yeah, it, it also goes into, like, not just the mind to think, but the mind to encourage oneself. 
Yeah, 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 dude. Sometimes yeah, to support oneself. Yeah, to support yeah. yourself. And I, I learned that from, I think we've talked about it, um, like like long distance running. I, mm. I used to hate running, like in gym <laughs> running, no. I even played football, like, and you think, oh, you guys do a lot of run. Cardio? No, bro. <laughs> We would, we would go out on our like runs, like every practice, you kind of do the run. I would go find a tree sometimes to just hide behind <laughs> and then <laughs> fake like I've been running my laps with the rest of the guys and just come in <gasps> puffing and puffing. I was like, I just want to hit people. I just want to be in the dirt hitting people. Man. I'm not trying to do all this, this running, man. Um, not for a long time, at least. But in recent years, I just started going out there and and, just, and my brother taught me this. My brother taught me so much. So I, I, I I talk mess all the time. But <laughs> he's taught me so much, uh, especially about you know willpower, determination, and yeah, things like that. Yeah, see, we we got we have all these lofty terms for yeah. the mind and all, all yeah. of its powers. It's really a unique and special thing. Um, amongst us as humans well, dude exercise is such a fucking <laughs> way of practicing mind over matter like lifting yeah, weights step. or running mm -hmm. it is is literally training if if like for me it's so important not just for my physical health but for my mental health if i'm regularly pushing myself in that way because guys no one when people say they love working out i say i love working out sometimes that doesn't mean in the moment i love working out no i fucking hate it man everyone hates You're it putting stress on your body yeah, yeah no i fucking hate it i have to drag my ass to the gym i say i love it because i love afterwards right i love i love getting stronger i love pushing my mind i love the endorphins i love feeling healthy all that shit but like in the moment no you come up against that thing that's like Eh, we're done. Yeah, that's enough. Yeah, you should stop here. You should stop. And uh -huh. and for running, for sure. I'm always like, no, that's enough. Okay. <laughs> and, <laughs> and, and you train your mind to go like, no, I can go a little bit further. And I will. Yeah. Uh -huh. yeah um, every day. Let me go further. And you literally prove it physically in exercise. So then in other situations in my life, like I've done it physically with my body. Like I, I, I know for a fact I can push through those moments physically. So then when it shows up kind of more... Uh, less tangibly, I'm like, oh no, I can do it. I you can know? do it. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah I that's, can push through like this I stress. Can keep running for you know x amount of miles. Yeah, you know, I can push through this little bit of stress. And oh, dude, trying to pursue my fucking dreams <laughs> of being a fucking actor, oh, successful yeah. artist, all these things, pursuing this for as long as I have. Yeah, the years where it's not fucking going well. I mean, you better believe it's mind over matter. Mind over matter. Yeah, because you know the voices in my fucking head are going like, I can't. Like, I yeah. maybe I shouldn't. Mm -hmm. I don't like. I don't want to do this real. anymore. <laughs> like, it's hurting me. Yeah. I feel bad. <laughs> like, this hurts to want it and not get it. And it. I mean, I think anyone pursuing a dream like this. You you have to mind over matter yourself. You have it, to everything fucking. Everything in the material world is telling you that you're maybe not you shouldn't make it. Yeah, mm -hmm. maybe you fucking shouldn't. Yeah, maybe it doesn't make sense to be in your thirties yeah. pursuing the fucking arts. You know, you like maybe not money. You mm -hmm. don't have enough connections. You know, and oh, it's gonna take you so long to reach this. Will mm -hmm. it even be worth it when you do? Mm -hmm. You you have to use that mind over matter. Yeah, damn, it's a fucking good one. All right, give me hey. your give me your two next tip. We're going to. Uh, number two, we went backwards from... Uh, yeah, we're uh, counting down from importance. Okay, this one uh, is embrace technology. I will not. You will not. I will I not, know. Daniel. I know, I know, but you should. Okay? I'm going for a walk in the woods, man. <laughs> Fuck your technology. I mean, all technology matters. Like even, you know, we're, we're sharing this, um, sharing no, it's this true. wonderful moment with people on this podcast through these cameras, through these amazing microphones. It's true. Imagine if we were trying to get some message out, like how yeah. to grow up and better yourself. And we had to just go stand at a podium or on the side of the street with an, well, not even with an amplifier and just yell at people to hear your message. That must have been tough for the prophets back in the that's what I'm saying. That was Jesus, right? Just fucking, yeah. just speaking yeah. it out. Just dang. Hey, pass this along. <laughs> Jeez. But yeah, then technology came about, and everybody's kind of uh, a prophet in their own right, guys. Yeah. Um, but uh, but yeah, technology. We we humans. This is the most cookie tip in the fucking world, bro. <laughs> 
a little throwback to Ned's Declassified. Um, yeah, we we should embrace technology. And I, I know that there are a lot of people who feel other ways. And yes, sure, technology can get so bad to where we're being ruled by some uh, cybernetic overlords or something like that. But we're not there It's coming. Yet. Yeah, yeah, it's coming. Skynet is coming. Just wait. Terminator 2 is a documentary. Oh, yeah, you know. <laughs> um, but for now, uh, <laughs> in, in terms of self-reliance, yeah. don't get yourself lost in the past mm. and don't let your um, goals and your big vision uh, flounder mm. simply because you won't give it or provide the tools to it mm. that will allow it to flourish. There, th that also goes back to when, when I was saying you, you need to learn everyone else's job. You can do that, right? And that's that rote way of doing it. Learn how everyone else does it so that you can maximize your efforts. But then technology takes it a step further where most jobs that you're trying to do these days, especially if it has to do with, you know, the internet or something like that, you, AI can help you achieve things way quicker uh, so that you don't have that excuse. U ultimately, I'm saying use technology so you don't have an excuse. Yeah. Yeah, there's so there's so many things that can optimize your output yeah. uh, from technology and allow your dream to exist. Yeah. Don't put your dream off. Get it done. Use the tech that is out there. Yeah. It's like I think there's a side of the there's an extreme side of that spectrum where like you're relying too much on technology that you're disconnected from your own nature and the natural world and all that shit. However, I mean it it this tip has been proven time and time again. Look at any technology throughout Ever. fucking history. history. Yeah. Look at the people who had didn't fire embrace it. Fire. Yeah. Had guns. Well, and look yeah. at the people who literally like were like against it because they weren't embracing it. They they resisted the new technology and then they missed the fucking missed boat. The boat. They yeah. missed the wave. The like, yeah. uh, I mean, even us, right? Like we're coming off Neds and social media. Oh, dude. <laughs> they told us not to use social media, bro. Like. Ah, oh, they were like, oh yeah, don't don't be putting yourself out there. And we were like, oh yeah, we'll never need this. This is for people trying to get into that. Exactly. We're already social in it. Media. We don't need to be I am the media. <laughs> I needed social media, guys. Yeah. Uh, because yeah, then that also allows you to be self-sufficient too, because you don't have to be sitting waiting for a network to keep putting you in people's faces and telling people that telling people your worth. Right. I can literally get on my show, phone yeah. and show people right. why. My yeah, phone. I was resistant to TikTok for so long. Like when people were like probably the first year people were starting to talk about it. And I was just like, oh, what the fuck? Like another, another app. And I was that, that old fogey, you know, just like, well, another app. And then, uh, you know, I got on there and it was so much fun. And there was such a huge audience on there. And the algorithm's so fucking generous compared to IG. And like, I was like, oh, embrace technology, dude. Like, yeah. duh. And, and it's going to happen. It's going to happen around you, you know? Um, exactly. Life will move on around you. Sometimes you're, you you got to look at yourself and say, oh, wait a minute. I'm being elitist in saying that this new technology isn't for me. Yeah. Right? Oh, that's Gen Z TikTok. Yeah. Uh, you know, hop on it and find out how to use it. Now, what goes with that is use technology. Don't let technology use you. Mm -hmm. All right. Mm -hmm. uh, yeah. Because if you're, if you're, if you need to be utilizing that technology to brand yourself to your uh, followers and make sure people know what you have going on and your your industry, then use it for that. Don't just be there doom scrolling all <laughs> yeah. day, consuming. Yeah. Um, yeah, yeah, dude. There's so many areas where like just a little bit of technology can go a long way. This is going to be an organic ad right now, but like one of our sponsors is Rocket Money, and like uh, thinking that I could just hold all of my finances and subscriptions in my mind rather than use this technology that's fucking made to make my life easier yeah. and the interface is super fucking easy and it's inexpensive and it shows all my shit like <laughs> it's already saved yeah. me money like I, I, I like signed up recently right yeah. <laughs> I was just like oh I'm so dumb like I'm yeah. so dumb yeah. for anything I may be struggling with like there is some technology out there that will make your life just a little bit smoother. Yeah. If it's complicating your life, maybe stay away from it. If it's yeah. making it more complicated, all right, maybe you don't need it. Like maybe you're going a little too far, you know, because sometimes technology does that. Like all my lights on Wi-Fi, but then what if my Wi-Fi goes, goes down, out. then I have no lights, Dark. right? Like there's versions of it that get annoying, but man, shit, yeah. like, <laughs> shit like rocket money made me laugh when I finally signed up. I'm like, wow, I'm dumb. 
Yeah. Like, I'm dumb. This the, makes my entire life easier. Easier. The text out there, like, yeah, and and we sometimes can feel like we can't hold stuff up here. Yeah. Oh, no, dude, your brain, <laughs> you're just going to forget, like, passwords even. Like, oh. th- I still struggle with that because oh, bro, I never get the password. I app. still do not have them organized. Oh, it's but there's <laughs> something out there for you, you know? Go My mom it. has like a spreadsheet of all her passwords throughout fucking time. Yeah. And I'm like, first of all, oh, what's a spreadsheet? Um, Uh-oh. second of all, I still uh play that game every time I have to log into something where I'm like, I hope it's saved on my computer or phone, because otherwise yeah. I'm resetting it yeah. again. It, it's it's arrogance. It's straight up arrogance uh, it's and just blind dumb. self-confidence. <laughs> I you really think you're gonna and every time I do it, oh yeah, I'll remember that. <laughs> Every time, you're not, no. but the you're problem guy, is they pal. they they change the they change the parameters every time. So of course I can't remember. Oh yeah, it, it ones, needs oh, you, it needs a fucking exclamation point. Yeah, a capital. Exactly. Uh-huh. Uh-huh. Oh, dude. Your character. Um. Yeah. All right. You are the master of self reliance. Give us your number one tip for self number one reliance. Tip. Actually, let's find out what it is. Because you I, forget you forget what you wrote down. Perfect. What, what we have written. Oh, oh, this is a good one, guys. Find spaces that inspire. Mm. Okay, you know, we, we went through all this kind of technical stuff. Uh, mm. Now just find spaces that inspire, that inspire you. I believe that you will find yourself reaching your goals, and I'm saying self-reliance for the purpose of reaching your goals. Yeah. You'll find yourself more apt to dedicate time to reaching your goals when you appreciate your environment. Mm. If, if you don't appreciate your environment, you don't like what you're being inundated with, you are going to want to sleep or want to dive into escapism, mm. uh, you know, of, of all these other sorts because you don't like that current environment. It's, it's hard to get work done when you're uncomfortable. Uh, in the spaces, it doesn't all have to be a physical environment because sometimes... You know, we're we're tied to certain circumstances that are uncomfortable. Sure. But um, wherever you are, find the space that is most conducive to you physically, but also that mental space and the the people that you're around. What what they focus on and try to get you to focus on mm. is going to come out in the things that you manifest. So mm. if you are trying to create, you know, even just say great art, find find places that inspire you. Like I take time to like go to museums. Yeah, fuck yeah. Parks, you fuck know, yeah. whatever uh, will inspire you. It could be even music, spaces where people are being creative yeah. collectively and there is harmony. Yeah. Don't be in disharmonious places or yeah. Places that are too over industrialized to where it just you just feel like you're a part of a machine. I I need yeah. inspiration. Fuck yeah. And wherever you find it, whatever it means to you, find those spaces and exist in them mm. and I believe it will help what you put out into the world. Dude, I love that so much. That's such a great tip cuz you could be self-reliant, you could be capable, but in isolation, like you could be a self-reliant, you know, doomsday prepper Mm -hmm. and be Mm -hmm. isolated from the world and like, yeah, yeah, you're self-reliant, but you're not living. You're isolated. You're a fucking island of self-capability. I love that. I love this final tip is, is be in spaces that inspire you, that, that make you feel vitality, that, that make you dream more, that make you want more, like, hell yeah, because that, yeah, that will, that will move you, that will move you into why you want to grow, why you want to be better. Yeah, and uh, yeah, I was going to say, that is what we do it for. You want to be self-reliant for what? Everyone wants to be able to be in spaces where they feel secure, uh, places where they can freely express themselves without, um, with, you know, without being encumbered by, you know, society or having to experience uh, this world in a way that is lackluster. We we want we want beauty in our world and, and beauty is in the eye of the beholder. But whatever that looks like to you, mm. find yourself reliant so that you can exist in that space. What more frequently? What inspires you these days? Nature, just of course. That's an easy one because I don't want to make it like it's something that has to be um, big. Sure. Nature inspires me and just uh, harmony and open conversation. Mm. Like, so in any space that allows uh, free conversation for me to learn from the people around me, then mm. then I love that. But um, I'm a big... I'm a big hike guy, so I'll go on hikes. I love the Hollywood Hills. You yeah. Know, just, well, all the canyons around here. Yeah. Anywhere where I can go out, get a healthy amount of challenge by, you know, 
exercising yeah. and seeing these beautiful panoramics and awesome, awesome views. That's uh, that's what inspires me. I'm I'm pr- a pretty simple guy. I don't need too much uh, freedom to travel and just yep. go occupy spaces that look beautiful is, yep. is good enough for me. Fuck yeah. Yeah. It's going to be fun to see you in Sydney, my guy. Oh, yeah. Yeah. See, that's inspired. That's oh, that's going to be inspiring. Yeah. Hanging out with you in Sydney is going to be inspiring. Yeah, we're both going to be in Australia at the same time. So yeah. crazy. I'm teaching some acting classes. You got family out there? Yep. I'm going for my niece's Baby. first birthday. Oh, Aww. my God. I love her. Um, cute. Oh, I also know you're inspired by being an uncle because I see the way oh. you talk to your little nieces on the FaceTime. Oh. You should see this man talk to his nieces. Damn. Daniel becomes a little fucking bowl of pudding <laughs> he's a hey Hello, hi <laughs> daniel becomes uncle dan and is a new version of you that i had never seen until i see you talk to your nieces it's so fucking beautiful yeah I, I reserve the you know the pudding dan for, <laughs> <laughs> the, the little ones yeah yeah otherwise yeah. i got the tough excuse. yeah otherwise you gotta be you know tough. <laughs> um Man, great to see you. Thanks for coming on. Always a pleasure. Thanks for teaching us about self-reliance. And thanks for being (laughs) a jack of all trades and self-reliant as hell. Because, man, you and me and Lindsay as a team is just fucking unstoppable. For our live shows. Yeah, dude. And it took me, last thing, just... Yeah. (laughs) When I was doing music, like, as a youngster, if there were all these puzzle pieces that I needed, this is the jack of all trades thing. Yeah. All these puzzle pieces that I needed, um, and... You know, you need a photographer. You need da, da, da. Yeah, yeah, yeah. That's what got me into filmmaking. Now I'm doing I'm doing music videos for like Snoop Dogg and you know random people. Yeah, all because I was trying to just be an artist, and there weren't those people there. Right, no one there to edit. So I'm like, now I can quickly do it. And we, I edited most of the stuff for the live show, dude. Like exactly, graphics, whatever. Yeah, over the years, you've pulled up all these skills out of necessity for kind of other aspects of your life, and then Ned's Pod has come about, and like for our ads, we need all the fucking editing, shooting, lighting yeah. for the live show. We had so much to get done that you have the skills to do incredible got it man done, bro. incredible it's great producing with you yeah You're an yeah yeah pro- yeah it's production. it's the best we got a long way to go it's gonna be it. yeah we got some space Rolling to go up. um yeah love you listeners uh i hope you enjoyed this conversation with daniel curtis lee yeah, yeah. my man uh you know ned's declassified pod is every wednesday hey. growing up is new episodes every other Tuesday. If you haven't already, please rate and review us on the App Store and Spotify. It just helps us grow. We love you. See you in a couple weeks. Peace out.